Hey guys, Gaming Savage here. So, I'm going to do you a profile of my Lorcana deck today. This is a Sapphire Steel deck, so um, I'm going to do it in a way that's kind of like I, I feel is nice. So, I'm going to be doing like um, your characters first and then like your action songs and um, other uh, items afterwards. So, for your first ones, we've got Free Hook. Uh, he's a nice challenge too, so he can swing for free. He could lose one, which is kind of like, you know, not great, but at the end of the day, he's in of one, so that's always fine. Uh, for the next ones, we've got. Reef Louder, your vanilla 2 2. And then we've got uh, two goons 2 2. I feel like this ratio is fine. This is this one is relatively nice on budget. So, next for your two inks, we've got your Grandma Tala. She's such a good card. Like when you know she is when she's banished, you just basically you know put her into your ink well face down. So, she's a good for you, a bit of ramp. So, helps get your uh, big characters up for free. Um, two, but Eric, kind of same thing, promise you've got with Hulk. It's challenge two, it hits for a decent number. The, um, the ink cost is not too high, so that's that. So, next we have Free Aurora, so Royal Princess. Um, her stats aren't really that great, but she quests for two lore. So, if you can get her out, she just quests for two lore and she can absorb a, uh, and a, and a challenge or two, she's all good. Next, we've got your three ofs. Uh, so your free inks. So here we go. This, if you're playing Sapphire, you got to run Detective Mickey. It's such a good card. Like stats are okay. Law's not great, but just that thing of like just putting your top card in your ink while it's really, really good. So next we've got um, Christoph, official Ice Master. Uh, this is a nice little hollow one, which is quite cool. Uh, so. Just it's decent stats. It is vanilla, but it does uh, quest for two. So yeah, you, you kind of want to get those early quest points in quickly. Uh, next, we've got Tinkerbell. So just the nice the drop and draw is really good. Uh, stats are really decent as well. Like a two four is pretty good. It can absorb some hits. So yeah, she's pretty decent. Uh, next we've got two Hercules, uh, true hero, just because he's a bodyguard. If anyone knows from the film, he's actually wearing the. Uh, the body of Scar on his head, just a nice little bit of trivia there. Just yeah, body card is like one of the few interactions you can kind of do in your opponent's turn, so if they do try and challenge, you can force them to challenge this. Next for the fours, we're running to Aurora, uh, just because when she comes into play, she gives someone like m minus, so it just helps with like you can just swing and challenge them. Uh, next. Maleficent, just because for decent stats and lots of two. Uh, we are running only one of your Aurora Dreaming Guardian. Um, obviously, if I did have more of this, I would have run it. I just haven't pulled it, and I'm, I refuse to get the uh, more of the same structure deck. Um, this is only been, I think, me and my uh, missus, we've only, um, I think we've only had like 10 packs, including the uh, ones you got from the structure deck. So we've not really done too bad upgrading our decks, but this is like, I've tried to make this kind of budget friendly considering like we're just kind of doing random openings. So whatever we've got this good is like what we've got. So uh, two beast, I feel like beast is fine. Um, if you have other stuff, he's really good to get. Um, Cause he's all generally low rare card and just like banishing a chosen item could be really useful in certain matchups. Uh, then we got two Mufasa. Uh, he is vanilla. He's got decent stats, but he does law for free, which is really, really good kind of late game. Uh, we got one Scar, just because he just did ask for and it's get minus five. So yeah, he's, the law value is not great. Most of the time, I do end up inking him. Uh, we run one Robin Hood and Robin Archer. If I had the choice, I would be running through this guy because I think he's really, really underrated. Just because it's the fact like with Sapphire you do have a tendency to lose the um, lose the hand after a while, so this allows you to replenish that just by drawing a card, and also you can gain evasive, which is kind of cool. Uh, last one is Simba, Return of the King, Challenge Plus Four. Jeez, that is nasty, and it has pounce, so it deals with evasive, which generally um, generally Sapphire and Steel has a bit of a problem with. So yeah, that's really cool. So now we're going on to your items, ac items, actions, and songs. So we've got uh, four. Develop your brain. So uh, this is a nice hollow foil one. So we've got one, two, three, 
before because digging into your deck is really really useful uh, there you go, nice olive oil again. Two cannons, so three cannons just because I like by dealing with problems. Uh, one, two, three, four coconuts. Coconuts is so good. Um, just like at certain late points in the game, if you've got two of these out, you are then like, like just playing characters and you are just literally removing tons of damage. So you just you're challenging a lot and then you're just replenishing the damage. It's just really good. Uh two one jump ahead just because you just for the mana ramp if you need it uh one ransack is not really great i just want it in for a, i couldn't find another kind of like consistency card or i didn't own one so i just bought a ransack two smash because yeah just dealing free damage is good and it's an inkable card two eye of the fates because getting your lore up is really stupid so yeah absolutely insane um, most of the time, most of my matches now, if I'm playing, don't last. Uh, my opponent just need to get more than usually eight ink. So, uh, there you go. And grab your sword. It's just such a good card. Just, yeah, mass damage to multiple things. And also, it is a song, so you can just, like, sing it if you need to, just to deal two damage to every one of your opponent's characters. Um, that is it. It is a good, solid 60. Um... Yeah, you do try with this deck to kind of really kind of just do a lot of damage. Well, sorry, I'll quest a lot very quickly and just basically inflict as much challenges as possible with what characters you've got, then heal them as quickly as possible. Uh, that's kind of the strategy I've gone with. Um, just a good bit of control and controlling the board. If you feel like something's evasive and it's causing you a bit too many problems, just, yeah, sink it away with cannon fire and smash. So uh, that's the deck. If you have any you guys have any questions over anything, you know, please feel free to ask. Um, Hopefully you like the profile. I've tried to do it in a way that I feel from a Yu-Gi-Oh player's perspective that I feel it's fine. Um, so, yeah. Have any questions? Talk to us later. Thank you very much.